I'm with Abdul Qadir Muazu, and he's the head doctor of the Nigerian football team, and he works at the National Sports Medicine Centre. And it's been great to catch up here at Oslo for the at the IOC Advanced Team Physician course. And we actually go back to previous times in Canberra when Abdullah did his Masters in Sports Medicine at the Australian Institute of Sport. Abdullah, welcome to this little chat. Thank you very much, Karen. And I know you've got an Olympic gold medal in your pocket uh, as the doctor for the Nigerian team in 1996. So tell us about that experience. Yeah, it was a great experience. Uh, Nigeria, as uh, many people know, uh, is, 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 is a country uh, that is passionate about football. Uh, it's, it's like our, our religion, it's, uh, people are passionate. So we had great hopes in preparing for the Olympic Games in Atlanta uh, with the little hope back home that the team was going to make it uh, to the final. And incredibly, uh, the team not only went through the process, but also actually won the gold medal. And for our country, that was one of the greatest days to remember. Uh, they declared a national holiday. The team was received by our president. The players and officials were given national honors. So for me, it's, it's, it's a great achievement. It's great memory. Great. Uh, sounds fantastic, but you worked hard to get there. I know you trained hard yes. in advanced sports medicine skills and things. Yes. So how's the team doing now and how's your role at the National Sports Medicine Centre? Uh, football generally is doing well, even though we have gone down a little over the years. We are not able to qualify for the London Olympic Games, both male and female, which is very sad and created a lot of problems for the country. Uh, but I am still involved fully with football. I am the chairman of the Nigerian Football Federation Medical Committee. Uh, we are doing our best not only to take care of the national teams, but also to enhance the capacity of medical staff who are taking care of other players playing in the league. We are 160 million. We have 64 teams at different leagues many of which do not have qualified medical staff. So the, that's why we make effort to come out to these very important conferences, learn about the developments, especially in the areas of injury prevention, go back home and see how we can use the knowledge we gain here to enhance the capacity of our people to provide care to our players. And so what are a couple of examples that, of things you've learned here? The conference, uh, this course has been fantastic. Uh, but I'm particularly impressed with the presentations that focus on injury prevention uh, because for us that's the key. We don't have the technology, we don't have the resources uh, to provide this modern treatment uh, modalities to our players. So we feel if we can imbibe the current injury prevention measures as being taught in these courses, that would be a a good thing for us so that uh, it's easier and better for us to prevent than actually treat the injuries. I've enjoyed having some conversations with you at the meeting and uh, sharing the, the course with you and I know you've got an important role in promoting injury prevention and health generally in Nigeria and in Africa and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you very much. It's That's all pleasure. the best. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. That was Abdul Qadir Muama who's speaking at the fourth IOC Advanced Team Physician course. It's being held in Oslo. And the next course, the fifth course, will be in uh, Stockholm in just over a year, in May 22 to 24, 2013.